So for this question, I am given f, which is the gradient of this function, f of x, y, and I'm asked to use the, fundament, the fundamental theorem of line integrals to calculate the line integral of f along a given curve. And here my curve consists of the top half of a circle of radius 1, okay, centered at the origin, oriented clockwise, followed by a line segment from 1, 0 to 1, 1. So my start point is negative 1, 0, and my end point is going to be 1, 1. Okay, so let's recall what the fundamental theorem of line integrals tells us. It says that if we have a conservative vector field, so the vector field is the gradient of some function f, then the line integral over the curve is just going to be the function value at the end point of the curve minus the function value at the start point of the curve. So really this line integral is independent of the shape of the curve. I only care about the start point and the end point. Well, here my start is negative one zero, and my end is one one. So to calculate this line integral, I want to find the function value at 1, 1, and then subtract the function value at negative 1, 0. So let's go ahead and plug these in. So for f of 1, 1, I'm going to have 1 cubed plus 1 times 1 squared. And then for f of negative 1, 0, I'm going to have negative 1 cubed plus negative 1 times 0 squared. And let's go ahead and add these all up. So I have 1 plus 1, which makes 2, minus negative 1 plus 0, so that's like 2 plus 1, and let's say x and y are in meters, and f is in newtons, so my line integral is going to be 3 joules.